Hello and welcome to the challenge video I am really excited about and also really scared about where I try to install Hyperland onto Arc Linux without any uh, video tutorials. I can only watch documentation and also I gave myself ChatGPT because I would be dead without it because it looks really frustrating. Anyway, the first part of this video is actually done on a virtual machine. It was really weird in a virtual machine and please don't attempt it in a virtual machine and you will see it throughout the video what I mean. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, if you're new to the channel, then subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the video. The first thing I did is get into a browser and search for Hyperland because we need to know what we're getting into. So once I was in the website, uh, it looks gorgeous. Whoever made this website, if you are watching this video, you did an amazing job. And in here, I just scrolled up one time and then I thought you know what let's just get into the installation I just go in I got in the arc section and saw that well it obviously supports arc so that's a plus point for us now I just copied the command and then proceeded to type it out I don't know why then I stopped typing it out and then pasted it in either way but in here I got an error I thought okay what would be the issue I just logged out and thought okay maybe it installed it didn't install then I went in, went back in and then in here I was like okay let's try yay for yay I tried the yay command and I did not have yay installed so I went through the rabbit hole of installing yay again so I went to their website in the way yay website and then went to the github page and I scrolled down and in here you can find all the commands I just copied everything and then pasted everything in I didn't care much so after a while yay got installed I tried the command again but I thought this one might be working, but it didn't. It still showed an error, and I thought, well, what the heck could be going on? I was really frustrated at this point. Then I was going to mirrors and stuff, so it, my mirror was broken or whatever. Then I thought, you know what? Let's just update the system. And that, you won't believe it, actually solved my problem. So I updated the system. I did a reboot, which you always should do. Do not update and not reboot your system reboot your system and then after that i just tried it again i literally tried the first command and it just installed like nothing ever happened then i was like okay it's installed let's get into hyperland yay and then after i just switched to hyperland i was thrown into this void with this message right here i couldn't understand so i just thought okay it's an auto generated config file i got that and in here there's something called kitty i don't have much of an idea what kitty is but this is a config file so i was wondering okay so i can change stuff in the config file and this should work now let's try to like edit the config file where it was and then i just typed in the directory where it said it was and in here the i like noticed quickly that there's something called auto generated and i thought okay so this must be the thing that like generates that message so and then I scroll down a bit and my ADHD brain saw monitors and I was like uka uka monitor let's get into it. We are getting ahead of ourselves first we need to install Hyperland itself. So now I just saved the config got out of it and then just installed kitty. And I was surprised that that actually worked I didn't know what kitty was. So I just opened up kitty and it was a terminal emulator so basically like console but lighter I would assume so I don't know about it if you know leave a comment down below. And then I just logged out and you know what, I hoped for the best. And after I logged into Hyperland, for some reason, the key bind that was like typed out before, which opens up the kitty or whatever, it wasn't working. I was clicking really hard multiple times, it wasn't working. So I thought, okay, maybe I messed up something in the config file. Like that could have happened because again, I never used Hyperland before. So I was like, you know what? let's get into the config again so i was checking obviously if kitty was working here so i went into the config file again and i thought well, let's scroll down let's see if we can find something important and then i stumbled upon this terminal thing and i was like you know what let's just change this to console so hope this works so i just changed kitty to console and then just scroll down a bit and i was like maybe there is something more interesting or maybe something that I'm missing which I should know and after I held down and I just stopped it put me in this 
part right here where it literally gives me which keybind to use for what and in here i was like okay so everything is right here i can use the super key and which was basically the windows key and e to open up stuff so i literally like memorized as much as i could logged out got into hyperland again and pressed con windows q again at this time console actually opened windows e actually opened the file manager which was really nice and i was really happy about it. but then i realized wait i cannot close them and i realized well windows c does it so this is where i was trying to figure out how to uh, actually open apps and stuff so i could type it in terminal but for some reason i couldn't open like any app launcher or anything so i was like doing it like this i was getting into the config and looking for stuff where i was like okay maybe uh, i should first like fix my windows or the monitor because it's really huge everything is really zoomed in so i was googling googling and it helped so i got into the monitor section which was literally a uh, dedicated page so i was like okay i could list it and again this is the part oh this part is done entirely on a virtual machine so i could actually show you like how like how much pain it is to work but that's basically how you do it i just copied the virtual one i saved it and i just thought okay let's just fix the resolution maybe that's what's uh, causing now at this point the window is a bit lag so it's not smooth it's a bit lag so i went okay let's just fix the resolution maybe that will fix it i pasted it in and then saved it got out and i left everything as is i just left everything and then press shift m sorry windows m to get out and then i logged it back in and now when i open the console or terminal nothing happened <laughs> it still was the same i was i couldn't understand what was happening so i was like okay let's just get into the config again i tried to do uh, like i'll save you the trouble of watching me do this because i tried to redun the virtual box thing it didn't work it wasn't that and then so basically the drivers and stuff it wasn't that i got in the config again i changed this last parameter which was basically the scale of it and i set it to one and things just work but this worked but it made my system super laggy before i switched to my actual system i thought maybe i should try out the key combination or the key binds that are kind of basic to what i need to know so in this section i kind of just uh, learned the key binds a bit and also figured out that i can edit the config file with kate which is a much better editor and i don't even have to look at a terminal and yes i am not a real architect if i don't use vim but i know i can't be bothered with that right now so that's how it went everything was lagging really hard everything was really bad so i thought you know what screw this let's just go on to my actual system so uh, from here on out whatever you see me do is on my actual system i will cut right here and i would have liked to do a little bit more on this video but i wondered that i should get a feel for hyperland first and how it works uh, just to get things set up before i actually just dive head first onto my actual system this was kind of the video where i uh, see what everything does and what uh, how to get things running uh, the uh, next few videos will be just uh, me figuring stuff out and there will be a lot of things <laughs> along the way i hope you guys enjoy the video uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye